Hello. Yep, I'm back again. Look like crap. Just got up. Just had my coffee. I'll be back when I look like I didn't just crawl out of bed. How's that? Okay. I think that looks a little better anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I've got this wonderful, wonderful, colorful sweater on. And I'm going to try to do something that kind of goes with some of the colors in the sweater. Just because. Anyway, I have been trying and trying and trying to get this film done for days. I've come up with two other looks that are currently just going to be still shots towards the end of this. Because... My camera is messing with me. It really is. It keeps deciding on whether or not it wants to stay on based on its own whim. No fun. Now, I did one in all reds and burgundy and that kind of stuff. And then I did one in blacks and yellows, so I looked like a freaking bumblebee. That was fun. And then I got PO'd and let it set for a couple of days and now I'm back. I'm going to try and finish this. Because that was too good of an opening to just let it go. I think today may be whites and pinks and a little red. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be a little red or if it's going to be the black. I think it's going to be a little red out here in the hinterlands. And my face, I mean, I have powdered this and it still wants to look shiny. And we will probably get several jump cuts for the usual reason with my allergies. Now let's see what I can come up with. Now I've got, and I do mean a pile of palettes out here. Because I just couldn't make up what we might call my mind. I've even got some of my singles and some of my homemades and it's the, I'm a mess. I've got everything and its brother out here. Now let's see where I'm gonna start. Because we knows I've got to start somewhere. That ain't it. That's a 
all shimmers. I might use this one, Dream Street, for a little bit of blending. don't got is a lot of paler pinks just because I don't so I think I'm gonna start with a not so pale pink This is from the Stay Fabulous, and it's called Sweetheart. Not so pale pink, but definitely mink. so that it, the floofy bit goes up. And no, I still haven't gotten the wherewithal or the idea or the thought process of doing the offhand eye first. It just doesn't seem to catch. Even though I have heard so many people on some of the shows that I watch that are going, start with your offhand eye. It'll be easier to copy. I'm, like, I'm just kind of stuck in my ways. kind of. Now with some of these colors you're going to see me grab my the side of my eye and yank a little. Well not yank. Gently pull because you see all this with the wrinkly stuff. I don't need them tiger stripes. I got enough stuff going on that I really don't need them tiger stripes. Tiger stripes and me are not going to hang together long.
I don't want to get too crazy with the shade of pink that I use because, let's be real, this is a pale pink. And so now I'm looking again. Okay, that one might do. Kind of a table. Kind of a binky purple. And I'll be right back. was fun. Right in the middle of being about to put some more makeup on, the mister shows up and says, dinner. So, to dinner I went. To dinner, I went. I like that pink. It's not as burply as I thought it was going to be. one back up here so I don't lose that. It's more of a brownish kind of pink but that's okay. I don't hear me being annoyed. I am going, I really am, excuse me, I'll try to remember to I absolutely, positively hate seasonal allergies.
Okay, I'm going to try something. Don't start with me. I'm going to try something of putting a matte white in here. before I put a shimmer over this area. I want to see if it picks up well that way. And I've got several options for white shimmers. I've got a couple of duochrome liquid, like this one. And I've got another one here somewhere that's a duochrome. And I've also got in the I'm just a girl, there's a white with a pinkish shift. Or could just go with a silver and white. And see how it works. Huh. I think. Bless you up. I do think once in a while. But only once in a while. Let's see. See, there's one of my other liquid whites. And there's the white with the pink shift and there's the just silvery white. I think I'm going to go for the one with the pink shift just because. Just because I can. Now, yes, I did put the rest of the base on before we got started here. I didn't put all of the other stuff on, just the base. I haven't picked up the bronzer. I haven't picked up the blush. Oh, we want to be stubborn.
think I've had this palette so long that it's getting contrary. Well, that's not too bad. always go back and tickle the other pieces too. Cover up some of this. Just a bit. I know. Don't put pink under your eyes. You'll look like you've got an infection. Okay, now, let's find me a nice looking dark outer corner and decide whether or not it's going to be black or maroon. mixing a couple of I've got kind of a purpley that's a bit darker than the maroon and I put a little maroon with it Perfect match. Nah. 
it was a perfect match, it wouldn't be me. Now, I'm going to or at least I just might anyway. to take just a basic shifty color and kind of tap it in here just for the heck of it. Not all over, just a little. flaky stuff here. We'll get rid of that. Oh. I've seen Mars. <laughs> if you've watched me for any time, so have you. see. Put just a little bit of ink sparkle. Down here, big, and then try and figure out what I'm going to put in my water line. my allergies. I'll be right back. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Water line. Water, water, water line. Water, water, water line. Uh. the K. 
caps on some of these pencils because it's like you put the cap on and the thing becomes like it's hermetically sealed. I've got a few of these pencils that if you don't sharpen them every time you look at them, they ain't going to do nothing. The BH Cosmetics from after um, Revolution took them over. Now, depending on who you ask, people will give you different answers about what a tight line is. And some of them are talking about doing the upper water line. And some of them are talking about filling in the gaps between the eyelashes. I'm not sure which one I believe. is kind of a ginger color. I didn't want to get too uppity with this. Okay. Let's do a first spritz. and remember to do my spritzes before I put on the the evil mascara because once I get it wet again from the spritz that mascara will transfer from here to hell and back which is really, really annoying.
is an e.l.f. powder contour bronzer palette that I've had forever. It makes me happy. Because let's be real, everybody knows I don't go outside unless I absolutely have to. So there is no reason for me to do lots and lots and lots of bronzer. Because everybody I know around here would be going, what did you put on your face? Because they know I don't go out. I go to the grocery store and I go to the doctor's office. And then I get right up under here and brush all this stuff on a little thicker and pretend like it makes it invisible. I know better, but it's the way my, what do you call it? Yeah, uh, mind works. Rhubarb. Singe Beauty. I saw this and I knew I had to have at least one. Not just because it was Angelica, but the colors are just so pretty. And they've got this little sheen to them that you don't want to wear a highlighter, it, you've got one anyway. Kind of scoot it down a little bit so that it's blending in with that lack of bronzer. And yes, I start higher up. Some people don't. I start higher up because you know the quote unquote apples of my cheeks that used to be up here they're they're closer to down here now 66 I get my kicks on year 66 Does that mean I'm going to tone down the way I do my makeup? Oh, hell no. You ought to know better than that already. Uh, anybody who thinks that that's a happening is like, needs to go get their own head checked. side of my head when my sister clocked me with a rock. Pardon me. Makes it a little difficult to make sure I've got my coverage approximately equal. If I really want to get in on it and make sure everything's like all snatched up and everything, I can take my little concealer and go whoop, whoop. Yeah. I ain't going through all that. Let us 
see what I have to work with. Let's get these things backwards. Alrighty. Now, this is a little bit kind of pinky, but I don't actually have a pink highlighter. At least I don't think so. I got one box down here. Eh, yeah. Got this one that's a little more pinky. These are supposed to be blushes and contours, you know. It's like, I don't know about these people. Being as I'm a warm, I don't often wear pink. Sometimes I do it just for the hell of it. This one, this little interesting palette here with the blushes and contour and all that kind of stuff. This is from C Color, which has recently turned up toes, which is unfortunate. I rather like their stuff. Okay. I don't to do it for that. Now I need to put on another layer. get my mascara and such out. do a liquid eyeliner and if I'm really lucky the cat will not jump up on my lap while I'm trying to do this 
not that my blinky eyes and shaky hands are much help anyway. Like I said, shaky hands, blinky eyes. I am not the best at this stuff. Just kind of smear it down a little. Keep it from being quite so obvious. Get out my neat brown mascara. Because if you guys haven't noticed, my eyelashes, what little I have of it, and my brows are not black. I even found somebody who is making amber brown eyelashes. No, I don't think I'm going to fight with them to go on tonight. Because it's late enough in the day, I'm probably just going to end up turning around and taking them right back off. So that kind of defeats the purpose. However, I have worn them. I do cut them down to half lashes. No, I don't curl my eyelashes, except once in a blue moon. And it's not a blue moon. I'm using some growth serum on my lashes if and when they get long enough for me to actually really get a hold of them with a curler without pinching the crap out of my eyelid, I might consider doing the curly thing.
Now the lower lashes seem to be responding to the growth formula quicker and more enthusiastically than the upper lashes. One of the still pictures that will be coming up towards the end actually does have the brown lashes on. Since I wear glasses, pardon, wear glasses, I cut them down to half lashes, so it's just out here. And it keeps them from bumping into my, my lenses. I cut them down. <coughs> now, I really like the way they look when they're on. But I still take forever to get them put on. just because I don't do it that often. Uh, sharpener, need the sharpener. Is it a good idea to sharpen your pencils just so that they make a nice clean line but especially if they've been sitting a while you'll get rid of some of the dry stuff that's gonna yank and pull and go blurp blurp and you've got a fresh completely clean tip to work with. Which can be handy. I hate my phone. care who it is. I'm not talking to them right now. Anyway. Yeah. Pinky nude. Underlayment. Uh, 
this one is the Pantone color of the year, Fuzzy Peach. If I put it on without the underlayment, you won't see it. Okay. There we are. What you think? Behave yourself. I have no bail money. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Keep your hopes up. Bye.